We're hiring. FIFA's hiring in Vancouver and Bucharest. Apply to open roles at http colon slash slash x dot ea sports guys welcome back to another video on the channel i have no idea anymore what i'm doing with these intros i've lost my mind it's the middle of august i'm still uploading fifa 19 content and i don't know what i'm doing but you know what guys i appreciate all the support on the channel whatever it is if it's a thousand views a video if it's 50 whatever the hell you guys bring i love it i'm very thankful for you guys um today we're going to be reviewing virgil van dyke's player of the year card now i wasn't going to do a video today but i said wow this is a card that a lot of people are actually not really sure about do i do it as an sbc so i'm going to spend a good amount of time in the beginning of this video today guys kind of talking about the card and then talking about the market and kind of things that have gone on um obviously guys if you do enjoy the video make sure um make sure you guys uh you know you don't have to like the video just make sure you guys go do something if you like the video just go do something um so Virgil van Dijk, guys, right now he's actually 600k on the market, and I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it is of relevance. He's actually dropped a ton because of the SBC today. So I've seen some people on Twitter saying, Nick, the SBC is not worth it because he's only 600k on the market. Before today, he was 1.4 mil last weekend, and even in the biggest part of this market crash, he's about a million coins. That is crazy. So he's dropped 400k today, and if you go to SBCs, he's coming in at 610k. So right now, from scratch, he's more expensive than the market... For the team of the season from scratch that's what it is now obviously guys it's a little bit different because there's some complications to the whole thing so if you guys go look on the market um vvd there's a ton at 600k and so maybe it's a time where today you say hey you know what this is a really good opportunity for me to buy virgil van dyke now let me tell you guys something right now is this card worth it yes this is the best center back in fifa in a lot of people's eyes for me personally i like Militao number one and i don't think anyone's close to him that is my opinion, okay? That's how I play FIFA. I have certain players I like. I think Van Dyke is in there. Baran team of the year. Rio Ferdinand's prime. Ramos' is team of the year. Um, you probably got a few more icons as well that you would throw in that mix that are in that kind of group of elite, elite center backs in this game. But this guy, no doubt, if you ask anybody who plays this game, will probably tell you this is a top two, top three center back if not, if it's not their number one. So just to get that clear. So now that you can get it between 600K as an SBC, and 600k in the market it's just really good value it just has to be said that it's good value now there's a lot of cards and packs right now and the pack weight is very very good so you guys should understand that about right now that the pack weight is amazing so they've also you've also got a different card design on this look at the end of the day it's august right so you're kind of picking and choosing what your card want what you want this card to look like the kind of image that you want so you've got an 88 rated 60 chemistry so again 600k from scratch now the thing is you're going to get a 50k pack a 55k pack and a 100k pack back so in my honest opinion i think at minimum from the packs back you make about 80 to 100k if you get lucky you make about 200 so here's what i would tell you guys van dyke's team of the season on the market i don't see it going much lower than 550 500 if this is an end game center back for you if this guy is going into your final team i don't really think there's much of a point for you guys to kind of hold off on doing the SBC and buying the market one because I don't think the market one's going to get cheapest. You've got the peak point of panic right now. That was kind of cool, peak point of panic. Um, but that's the reality. Right now is the, is, the, is the largest point of panic that you're going to have. And at this current time, he's still 600K. So I think you guys might as well, if it is going into your endgame team, you pick him up as the SBC, you get the packs back, and that's kind of a cool concept, right? I think that's the move. And I never advise SBCs if I think, if I think they're bad value. And you can see there's, no, there's none cheaper than I think 620 on the market. So you might as well go do the SBC, get the packs, um, et cetera, et cetera. I chose to do that on my main account today. Um, I chose to just do the SBC, get the nice little card design. You can see here he's 593. You're seeing what a lot of people are doing right now is they're panic selling their Van Dyke because what they're going to do is go do the SBC and they're going to get the packs back because it's a little bit, quote unquote, better value because all these people are saying, okay, that was the card that was in my endgame team anyways. So I might as well just go do the SBC, get that untradeable and not have to worry about it. So that's really my argument, guys, in terms of like the SBC and should you do it or not. I would say yes if he's going into your endgame team. We're going to load up with him in this crazy team today. Um, we're going to score some nice goals. We're going to hang out. We're going to play a few games with him. We're going to test out his tackling, his ability to recover the ball, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, 
So, another thing that we got to talk about is obviously the card. Now, the account that we're playing this on today is 450 games played. For me, I actually just tried for you guys to get games on my main account. It didn't work. It took 20 minutes. I just couldn't find a game. So, we're down a little bit lower in scale rating, about 21, 20, 20, 21, 21, 50 ish, something around there. So, six foot four, obviously massive. And this guy has the largest stock of any center back in the game. His stock in this game is just unbelievably large. So, he bodies people, he gets away with a lot of pushes in the box, they don't call fouls. It's very, very, very elite, this card. So you've got 86 pace, 97 defending, 99 physical, 88 dribbling, 86 passing, 76 shooting, which means he's also lethal on corners. Medium, medium is fine for a center back, six foot four. So you've got the 81 acceleration, that 90 sprint speed. Um, you've got crazy in-game stats, 99 shot power, 81 long shots. That's like crazy. The fact that he's got actually long shots that are half decent is impressive. Then you've got 97 short passing, 99 long passing, 99 reactions, 91 ball control. 91, 99 reactions is a very important stat. 99 composure. And then if you guys look at the defending and physical stats, they are literally maxed out. And I know my, my face cam is over, but it's 99 stand tackling and 94 slide tackling. Um, the physicals that this guy has and the defending is maxed out. He's got 99 strength. You don't, in my opinion, need to put a chem style on this card that gives him defending or physical. His stock in-game is so large and his strength in-game is so huge and prevalent with the 99 composure... I think all you guys really need to do is put an engine on him. Engine is what we have on the guy already. That's exactly what I would put on him. Um, you're going to get the plus 10 dribbling. He's going to feel a little bit cleaner on the ball. You're going to get higher acceleration levels, higher sprint speed. And that's important. All you really need to do on this Van Dyke at this t at this time is to boost the, um, just the sprint speed a little bit. So we're going to load up in a 4 one 2 2 narrow. Play Neymar, Cam, Pogba, Hulli, Conte in the midfield. Havertz and Mbappe up top. And then we'll have Tellers, Militao. And we'll have Van Dyke with the cost of. Van Dyke is a very physical player, guys. So... In my opinion, he complements really well with a guy like Militao, a fast center back that's a little bit more lean. And you don't need to play Giants all around him. I think that's something that a lot of people always assume. Because he's so big, you can't afford to play, for example, if you were interested in a card like Jordi Alba, you can't afford to play a guy like Jordi Alba, guys, because Van Dyke is just so massive in this game. So it was something that I wanted to kind of make that known to you guys, that that's a possibility that you could do. Um, overall, guys, this is a top, top, top tier center back. And I totally recommend you guys get him. Regardless of what's going on in the gameplay today, he is amazing. Guys, so we are loading up into our first game. Um, we have a red Benyetter. Wow. Um, Firmino, Vieira, very good team. He's got, actually got Van Dyke, and then he's got San Juste. So this will be an interesting game, boys. We'll see what we can do against this guy. Pogba, he's got a very end game meta team. So you never really know, guys. With the, with the way FIFA works right now, the teams are all so good. You know, I don't really know what to think about when I see a team anymore. Usually when you used to see, like, a really good team, you were like, oh, my God, this guy's going to be good. But now with FIFA, I have no idea anymore. It's just, it's kind of like everyone's just got that bang and bang and big team. Well, you know who it is, don't you? Rude Hullet. Can't mistake him. Talk about well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd. Maybe. You can see Van Dyke just absolutely bodying my player. We'll have a double review today. We'll have one for the opponent and one for myself. That's a foul. I don't know if that's going to be a penalty, but that's going to be close. Is he going to leave the goal that open? He, how did he save that? He left the goal wide open, bro. What a weirdo this guy is, huh? Alex Telles. That's an easy cutout for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. It yeah, look at yo. To do. The bodying so that he's gonna do for you, just bodying, bro. And, uh, maybe he'll reach three figures today. And if he does, I think we'll see quite some celebration. There we actually did him dirty. Oh, Havertz! <laughs> Okay, what a goal, man. What a goal. He might be out of there after that. That was a naughty one. He might be dipping. We'll see. First game is a rage quit, boys. This guy was like, I'm having none of that. What a finish from Havertz, dude. A little footies action, right? A little footies action. He's got four footies players in the squad. Juan Jesus, Walker, Richarlison, Teixeira, Wijnaldum, Allison, Tellez, Firmino. Good looks, good looks, good looks. Get in. Let's go, Mbappe. What a long shot. That was kind of a long shot. Not really. Not a total long shot, but very nice shot from Mbappe. 
He wondered whether missing chances would leave them regretting those misses. But now they've opened the scoring, and you would feel that they'll go on and win from here. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. He's coming forward with some danger. Good football. Shot off. Van Dyke with the block. I mean, we, we got lucky there to not get see kickoff, but I'll take it. But it's the right decision. Angola Conte. Mbappe. Neymar. It's a quick break. Get in. Let's go, Neymar. Guys, my gameplay right now is so clean, so crisp. It's really, it's an unreal feeling. Keeping possession. Here's a chance. Oh, get in, Ney. So close there. For that kind of situation from close range. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Oh, that's not too good, boys. That's not too good. Really tall to the rescue, as always. Conte. Mbappe. Neymar. Well, it was easy on the eye. But in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Alex Teixeira. Van Dyke, stop, stop winning, stop. Oh no, boys. Dude, Van Dyke, that's. Kyle Walker. Jorginho Wijnaldum. It's a good place to win the ball here. He's got his shot off now. Um. Splendid goal here. That's fun. That's pull it in possession here. Alex Teles. Mbappe. And his goal. That's crazy. I can't believe that didn't go in, bro. Accuracy to award. Mbappe. Shots on here. And they blocked it then. Neymar. Superb individual skill. Get in. Oh my god, I cannot get this third goal, boys. I am trying right now. Damn. That Costa. Neymar. So relaxed on the ball, Ruud Hullet. Penalty. Yo. What is this EA Sports? Kyle Walker. Wynalda. And it is. Ruud Hullet. Conte. Just making sure that each pass is successful when they'll see get in Neymar what a brilliant goal. Well, no, let's go boys come on what a goal what a goal from Neymar coming up clutch for us in the 89th minute the 90th minute green time finish top left corner what a finish man that this game has been really 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 close what a finish from Ney man let's go boys all right boys we have a interesting team. This guy seems to have hit some good reds throughout the year. Um, but this is totally a winnable game. B. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation. Great and, uh, recovery really speed of from Mr. Virgil. Here today. And this is how the opposition will line up. Neto starts in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside David. Mbappé! He scores! I knew that he would out jump. I think that was David Luiz. I did an L1 square cross, and I had a good feeling about it. Great finish from Mbappe. Alex Teles. Now Hullet. Mbappe. Mbappe. And here's the shot. Let's go, baby. Havertz puts us up 2 0. And we get a rage quit. Boys, that's going to be it for the video today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Three games of Virgil van Dyke, two rage quits. Very solid. I think the one thing that I would tell you guys always that I have always worried about this card, and the reason why he's not in my main team is just that little sticky, non-stickiness when you win the ball. For other players that I've used, like Rio, Militao, um, they just kind of, when they tackle, win the ball a little bit more. But Van Dyke's top center back in the game. Go get the SBC done. Very, very good card. Um, I don't have anything else to say about him. Bad, you know, nothing. There's nothing bad about this card. Go get the SBC done. Thank you guys for watching the video today. I really appreciate it. Um, had a lot of fun recording. Gameplay was good. See you guys in a video soon. Peace out.